I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good Monday morning. Welcome back. You're rested. Your spring break's over. You're mad, I'm sure, that you even had to get up this morning. Um, but you're back. You might as well finish. Seniors, you got about six weeks. Count them. Six weeks until your class day. So you need to get on it. You need to finish. Looked at some GPAs, looking at some grades, and wondering how many of you guys are actually going to make it. Sophomores, juniors, and it even goes for you guys at OFC. You got this four to nine weeks to try to make things right so you're not playing credit retrieval catch up all summer. You guys that are juniors, you're going to be seniors in six weeks. And the only thing that's going to come into your mind when you start school next year is when is wood hauling? When is homecoming? When do I get to do all this? You're not going to get to do that if your GPA is under a 2.0. Okay, so get on it. To get across the stage, you have to have a GPA of a 2.0. And now, the way teachers work with you and as many chances as you get, there is no excuse for having under a 2.0. And you can't tell me, you can't email me today and tell me that there are teachers on this campus that will not work with you. If you think so, then send me an email and I'll be able to show you where that's not the truth, okay? So stay on top of your academics. Do not wait until you have one week left to try to finish and then come up and beg because you're looking for that credit. SAT scores for juniors, you should be able to log into your email or log into College Board and you should see your SAT scores. There's been a lot of you that have been coming in and sending emails saying you got the concordance score you needed for the FSA. Um, and I was able to see it in reporting, but I just can't download the actual report yet. So my early estimates is just on school day, there was probably about 70 students. But what we need to go back and look is to see how many of you passed the SAT before the school day. Um, so we can lump you in that total. So congratulations to you guys as you look at those scores. Um, and just remember in the future, those scores are going to go up. So if you got a 430 plus right now in evidence-based reading and writing, you got your concordance score. Next year, it's gonna go up to 480. But even in some of the scores that I saw, there were a lot of students that got 480s over 500s in evidence-based reading and writing that needed a score. So congratulations. Some of you guys are going for bright futures. You may have got your score that you need already. And then others of you, you may still be 100 to 150 points away. Well, that's why we have con because con guarantees if you'll work on them, you will get that 100 to 200 points that you need, the score you need to hit for whatever school you're going to or whatever scholarship you're going for. So that's my plug for today. What do we have going on, Miss Goggins? Tomorrow we start uh, Algebra 1 retakes, so um, you're, if you're not sure if you're on the list or not, make sure you ask your teacher to check the list. And please make sure to bring your Chromebook and to bring it charged or to bring a charger with you. Preferably just bring it charged and ready to go. So that is a two-day test. So please be here tomorrow so that you may then take part two on Wednesday. Otherwise, makeups will be Thursday and Friday, so please try to make it here on those two days. Also, speaking of um, concordance scores, um, see, we have a group of seniors who will be taking the SAT school day nope. next week. So seniors, if I think Ms. Brewer has notified you if you're on that list. If you have any spare time this week, take that time, do a little bit of Khan Academy. It never hurts. It works. Could, could be those few you minutes works. you need. We have, we have evidence to show that it works. So if you have any free time in your classes this week where you have a few minutes, go ahead and log in and, and get that extra bit of practice in before next week. Tonight, do we have activities on campus tonight? Yeah. Yeah, we have some things going on. Um, let's see. JV baseball. So yeah, we have baseball, JV tonight. And I think um, I think that's it for our campus tonight. So, yeah. Good luck to JV baseball. Ms. Yeah. Myers, do you have anything? I do. Um, today starts prom ticket sales in the cafeteria. I know a lot of you have been thinking about prom, maybe prom dress shopping, guys going and ordering your tux. Might be time to start thinking about that. However, even if you don't have your money to buy a prom ticket, swing through the cafeteria and make sure that your name is cleared from the fines and fees list. This is a good opportunity to be working on getting your name 
clear from that list. Also, if you're bringing someone as a guest who is not an OHS student, make sure you're going by the Dean's Office and picking up a guest pass and getting that filled out and approved. Um, that has to be approved before you buy your prom ticket and it usually takes a day or two to get that done. So you can be proactive. I, the first question I would be asking is, do I have any fines and fees? Because there's nothing better than hearing somebody slam something down and threaten to call whoever because they wait till the very last day of prom tickets and then they realize that they have a $50 charge um, or a $50 fee or something like that. Those are always my favorite. So don't, don't be added to the favorite list. Know in advance whether you owe a fine and fee and take care of it so then everybody will be able to go and enjoy the prom. And I'm still waiting on that prom commercial, I decide. I don't know where you're at, but we need to see it soon because if you don't get it done, then I guess I'm gonna have to dress up and I don't see anything to dress up in. So make it a great day, whether you're on this campus or at the freshman campus and move forward and be great daily.